Hello guys, thanks again for joining me in my next video. Today we're talking something a little bit different. Uh, lab-grown meat. Mm. So this article is talking about how lab-grown meat is going to hit stores and restaurants in 2022. It says instead of being raised on a farm or a ranch, your meat could soon be grown in petri dishes and high-tech laboratory. An Israeli company called Future Meat Technologies has built its first lab-grown meat plant in which it plans to use bioreactors to churn out cell-cultured meat for American restaurants. Well, that just sounds gross. Ugh, Okay. The company, which is in talks with FDA and USDA, plans to begin shipping the test tube meat to the United States by the end of 2022. So the end of this year, you might start seeing this pop up. Also known as cellular meat, production of the product involves retrieving stem cells from a live animal's muscles and then culturing them in a nutrient-rich liquid. The clusters of multiplying cells grow around a scaffold, which helps, the, so a fake bone, which helps the tissue take on a desired shape. Nuggets or patties, for example. The result is a product that looks and tastes like meat because it's made from animal cells rather than plant-based product. The FDA and USDA quietly gave lab meat the green light back in 2018. Did you hear about that? I didn't. I've been trying to follow this. <laughs> In a press release, the agencies announced that the FDA would oversee cell collection, cell banks, and cell growth and differentiation, while the USDA would oversee the pro production and labeling of the poultry and livestock products. Tyson and Cargill are the top two investors in lab-grown animal protein technology so far. The Animal Meat Science Association worries that lab-grown protein is not as safe or nutritious as traditional meat. I gotta say that's where I'm at too. I mean, this sounds gross. <laughs> this sounds like I soylent green. Before you know it, we'll be eating people. Like <laughs> that's where I'm at with this. What is so wrong? This is the kind of stuff that I don't understand why science is wasting their time on. These people, these must be the same people who think like we're going to run out of everything in like five years or something or 10 years when it's every time it's been predicted, it's never happened. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> people just, I, I just don't understand this. I will not be eating this. This does not sound like it will be good. It sounds like our bodies. I don't think our bodies will know how to process this. And I don't think it will know what to do with it. I think we'll find we get sick from it. That's going to be my prediction. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? This has sounded pretty gross today. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible and just, just really let me know what you think about this lab meat.